Hey there my dudes. Oh my gosh, that's my old intro. I just did the old call me laddie intro. <laughs> Let's reset that one. The OGs know, uh, <laughs> remember. <laughs> okay, what is my actual intro? I don't have one. I say, sup, peeps. Uh, hello. Hey folks. Um, good evening. <laughs> even if it's morning. So in this video we have uh, something really cool to announce. We got engaged. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's actually cute. not focusing. It's not. There we go. Um, it was a really cute uh, moment. We were out in, in a cabin in the middle of nowhere and um, just sat by the fire. Just had pot noodles I'm pretty sure. Uh, classic. Mm -hmm. And uh, he absolutely mistake. duped me as well with different jewellery. He kept giving me different boxes of jewellery and I, I was just like, was I kind all, of was like, was maybe he's going to propose. Very Did you actually plan course. that? Like giving me no. different boxes of jewellery? Because it absolutely, I was like, oh, okay. He, the, the surprise was that he just got me some nice jewellery. I didn't think one ring would be good enough, so I got you more than one thing. <laughs> you got me some jewellery and then I was like, oh, okay, it's just an earrings. An engagement present. And then there was a box as well that the earrings were in it was like kind of like a ring box yeah, and then yeah. i opened it and i was like okay it's just earrings and then i was i was about to like put the necklace on and put the earrings in and then you were just sat there waiting with another box what could it be <laughs> and i was just like i looked over to you and you're like you're just waiting for me i was just like okay nice earrings like about to put them in and stuff um it was very uh very much as everything, I guess, in our relationship probably will be not very traditional in terms of you aren't going to like, you what know. What is traditional? I know. <laughs> but, you know, you won't want to get, gonna, you know, get down on one knee type of thing. We were just sat by the fire. It was an absolute vibe. Yeah, we did it, did it um, our way. Yeah. So... I guess like I always have these questions from people I know, people online um, about like what even are we what in terms mean? of like what does it mean? What does it mean then? Obviously there's the word fiancé but uh, when it comes to like partner, I was about to say to grime right. and brood. <laughs> Grime right. and brood is quite good. Um, <laughs> I accidentally, yeah. I can't words, what is it? It's uh, groom bride, and bride. Bride yeah, and oh my groom, gosh. I believe. And then also like husband and wife, all those kind of things. People always ask me like what I want to be referred to as or how, what we're going to call it. So we'll be speaking about in this video. Uh, Are you Toby? Yeah, just Toby. <laughs> but you know, in in the circumstance of like getting married and stuff, we'll be speaking about what we're thinking we're going to do with that. Um, and also some advice on just, I guess, living through like gender non-conforming relationships. Um, I was, I was out as gender fluid when we started dating, but I know in many cases that isn't always the way. Sometimes discovery happens a bit later or during a relationship and we will discuss some of that kind of stuff as well as the use of pronouns within this video. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess the first talking point is what do we call each other at the moment? Because there is fiancé, which I think is neutral, but apparently it isn't. I thought fiancé is what you call everyone, but apparently it's fiancé and fiancé. People that are like that, they're just semantic arseholes. <laughs> and they're pedantic. You can call your loved one whatever you like. Yeah, as long as yeah. they're in an agreement. The thing is, I well, didn't we, even you know... You them an arsehole. Yeah. It was meant with love. It's if it's fine. meant with love, it's okay. I didn't even know that was gendered until... It is, you, yeah. I, There's an, an extra E in there sometimes. I didn't even know that. Which one's which? We will never know and we'll never Who put cares? it on. Who cares? <laughs> You're keeping track of these things, eh? Uh, but I guess you originally, in the last video where we were, we were did a video together, what, what you call me at the moment, and you kind of go by, instead of BF or GF, you kind of say they F. They F. I just say my partner, my other half, as like usual. That's a really cute one. I like that one, because... Um, it's the one I've just been saying. Yeah. I don't really... So when you refer to me... I don't think you're my boyfriend a... or my girlfriend. Yeah. Just partner. You're my partner, yeah. yeah. I usually say my partner as well, to be yeah. fair. Like, I barely say... It's like diminutive, yeah, saying boy yeah. or girlfriend. That's I mean, what fine. I think. You, like, I used to... If you want to say it, I don't like saying it. Yeah. And that's okay. I don't think I ever... Yeah, I always say my partner. It's more equal, right? Yeah, yeah, it makes, it more, makes more sense, yeah. Um, 
but I kind of like the my other half especially when it comes to and that can work for your your partner before you know um marriage and after yeah. well, I think it works really other well is significant a good one. other yes, sir. yeah and also for fiance instead my intended Intended. It's really cute. That's I cute, find that yeah. kind of cute. Or Brissage. like, I mean, sometimes you say they fee instead of wifey. They fee. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Which we love. Um, and when it comes to what kind of thing we're going to say, whether it's going to be bride and groom type thing, I don't. I think you can say I don't, whatever you like. I don't really. And it doesn't really matter. I don't really like that. I don't want anyone to either way really the bride and groom thing. Got to break know. break apart these gender stereotypes. Exactly, yeah. This, this heteronormative shite. <laughs> it's just it's just boring and old now. It is. You can do what you like, and you should be free from any judgment. You shouldn't be forced into anything you, you don't want to do, really. And the issue is because people. As long as you're not killing people. I guess people ask me, like, what am I to refer to that as? Like, uh, well, am I going to so be a bride? They ask you that question because it's, it's important to them. Mm. And their opinion doesn't really matter, ultimately. <laughs> yes, go on. You know, because <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have they have this perception of what your wedding should be, and that's just it, it is irrelevant. Yeah, because I know, like legally, like, unless you really, tradition really is trust in, in, uh, in it. and built in and trust their opinions and really are there for them. You know, but so much that you would change your entire wedding plan, and your life plans. Which in it itself is ridiculous. But it's like, you know, being like, like for example, a hen do, right? Yeah. I really want to call it a they them do, and I know it may not be yeah. funny to anyone else. They do do. <laughs> they Don't do. They. <laughs> they, <Don't> they do. <laughs> Just speaking random. But because people insist on putting like a. A word on it. I've heard like um, you know, marriage party. You know, just just sort of like neutral just ways to label it. You know. But I said, yeah, just a celebration. Of, but I really want to call it a they them do because I mm. find that funny. <laughs> the hen do and stag do thing. That's what we say in England. It's just it's toxic inherently. It's a oh, celebration yeah. of the it's the freedom, the lack of freedom you have from being single. You know. And it's always like you're celebrating one last night, so you can do things you want to do, which is weird. <laughs> and in in it is, and in in the past, yeah. I know British marriage culture is uh, whack. I understand why it's nice to have a celebration with your closest friends. Yeah, like I totally get that tradition. Yeah, yeah. You have that celebration with your closest friends. A lot of stuff happens after you, you get married, a, and have at the the marriage as well. Yeah, but it's like a night out for you guys. Yeah, it's just kind of like an excuse to have a celebration, which in today's world, we all need excuses to have a good time. So I totally understand that. Um, but I don't like the tradition of the toxic culture of it as it used to be. Mm -hmm. And so I don't personally like the the word for myself, uh, a Hindu. I, I do not want to it's have a that. Lot, a lot of people are forced into marriages. You know, yeah, true. Which is why these things are a thing. Yeah, the final night of freedom. I don't see it that way. Yes, yeah, because you, you, know. <laughs> you you think you're put on this path. That you, there's there's no escaping it. It's it's very odd, but I blame the system and the parents. A hundred percent, and the the patriarchy. <laughs> Let's go. Anyway, when it comes to what they would, what a person who's sort of like marrying us would say at the wedding, um, I really want it to be instead of. Um, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I, pronou I now pronounce you dude and bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any reason why they can't say any combination of yeah. noun. But... Well, sometimes they, the, the neutral way of saying it is I now pronounce you married. But when it comes to like, I kind of like the idea of uh, instead of wife, they f. I it's think cute. that's really that's yeah. like really cute. At the end of the day, it's whatever you want to be called. It kind of sounds kind of elfy, you know. Whatever kind of gives fantasy. you euphoria, you know. Yeah, I don't whatever know. I like that state as of like a goodness, a neutral form of like. Yes, okay, I do lean a bit more towards the feminine in a lot of ways now, um, so I don't mind it sounding a bit more like wife than husband type of thing. Husband. Husband. <laughs> they husband. They husband. Yeah, they's let's go. go. That actually does work. So there's they and they husband. Masculine, masculine <laughs> presenting non-binary <laughs> folks. Yeah, I like it. They husband and they husband and they. It's the same with um, fun. fun play on words. Zza. You know, you can choose Z uh, or Z depending on kind of where you lean on the masculine, feminine, yeah, and how yeah. that makes you feel. But it's all about the perception of like. Um, society 
in terms of why people ask me, mm. I think. Often, like, what do I call you? Do I call you, are you going to be a wife? Are you going to be the bride? Obviously, they say that because I'm AFAB. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's, you know. Um, but I'm like, what for I me. Be, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> for how me. dare you impose your perception of, of me on, on back onto me? Yeah. It's, it, and it's only because. Hmm. I mean, there's there's so such a longer conversation we can have about this and everything, but mm -hmm. um, I think in in some ways, just saying, ask the person specifically what they ask want. You, you know, that's good. fine. I'm totally fine with people asking me, but uh, I think generally the answer is going to be there isn't often a word for it. So you've got to make up your own stuff. That's just why fine. I kind of that's look why at this they. This is what language is. Yeah. You just make shit up. Yeah. Like whatever, whatever sounds Everyone's good. been doing sticks. it for ages. It's just, it's just, it's just, we've been speaking language for a while now. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we're here, the, where we are now. And when it when it comes to, like, in the future, people have asked me about the topic of parenting, and what would I want to be called as if, like, what would dad. I want to be called? Call me dad. <laughs> just dad. You can call you dad, so I'll be dad too. Dad too, yeah. yeah. Who cares? Uh, I'll just be. Well, they're her parents. Yeah, yeah I mean, what the thing us, is, really. I, it really doesn't matter. And also. If you want to force that strict nuclear family dad, mum, kid, kid, dog, mm -hmm. sure, stick with mum, dad, and whatever. But you don't have to. But you just have to show, you know, love and respect and care for your children. If you're good people. Doesn't matter what you what you call really. Yeah, and and your kids will grow up not with trauma if you actually you know show them some love and look after yeah, them. Yeah, I'm sure. When you know, those kids <laughs> thirty years, they're like, oh, that was odd. I had two dads. I'm sure they're not going to think about it. Yeah. Unless you <laughs> they get bullied for it, which is society's fault. And yeah, and that's just and something you have fault. to have to teach teach your kids and stuff, mm -hmm. and you know, be interesting to navigate in the future, but. Uh, Hopefully the world Such will be changing life. with time as well, so Such it'll be a bit life. more, um, hopefully it'll be a bit more uh, taught in schools and people will be a bit more educated so kids won't have to deal with that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But that is, you um, know, just, just yet, yet again, wishful thinking. So. As a people, we are forced to evolve with each generation and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah I like that. But That's yeah, fine. so in the future, I have no clue and I'm not really... I plan everything in, in a lot of advance, it's the type of person I am, but I have no clue how I'm going to feel in that time when, you know, yeah. um, when and if I have a family, like, with you in the future. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to feel at that time, and the point in me being gender non-conforming is because n no labels ever worked, so there's no point in me adding them now. As well as the people are making them. So, yeah, well. who knows, there may be a cool label in the future that I I stick with when it comes to being a parent. But uh, there's, there's quite fun, there's Zad as well, which I think is really hilarious. Zaddy. Zaddy, I really like that. <laughs> and I find it kind That's of good. funny, like Zad. I think it's hilarious, but um, you it's know. Future, F future words. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. So I guess finally, like what, kind of stuff will be at the wedding because from who I want to invite from my friends there are going to be um, a lot of trans and queer people there so everyone needs to be super chill um, about that kind of stuff like the it's very important that people aren't like bigoted I'm not inviting anyone like that to my wedding there has got to be a hundred percent I'm I'm having like a zero chill policy Could I will be fun. I hundred percent will chuck people out of my wedding I'm always up to educate if, no, I'll educate, but but if people take no, the piss, I mean, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm that person who it's 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 a day where I want absolutely no BS from people that that ha ha are randomly confused about the situation of like non-binary stuff, and I will be having conversations with everyone um, about this type of stuff before the wedding. Your family are really chill, though. So like, so you know, I don't think there would be any situations, and I never have ever had, been made uncomfortable for being non-binary around your family. No. Which I think is why you're such a well-rounded person as well. You've, you've There's been... still time. <laughs> still time <laughs> to get hate crime, let's go. <laughs> what the plan is, is we're gonna do a fantasy theme. I want to get away from this real world bullshit right now, so. You get one day in your life. And I love fantasy stuff. I love putting the outfits on and stuff like that. So any kind of fantasy theme, people can come mm -hmm. dressed up as whatever fantasy character they feel like. Be kind of a fun vibe. Forest. 
vibes. We haven't really planned it fully yet, but I know I want it to be in a forest. I want a barbecue. Well, what you like, yeah. What have, what have you thought about what, what you want there to be? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> nice. That's what, that's what I was getting. I'm not fussy. In, in the woods, around nature. Yeah. People you love. Yeah. That's all I want. A hundred percent. I think I, I agree. You, you plan the little bits. <laughs> I, I know the vague umbrella of, of, of what should be. Yeah. And just like good vibes is a hundred percent the most important thing. Good vibes, good people. Yeah, ultimately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and fairy lights. Mm -hmm. And general gayness, also in sexuality and in 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 the joy of it all. <laughs> general gayness. <laughs> general gayness. And Great name for a person in the army. <laughs> Major gayness. <laughs> Major gayness. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, moving on. <laughs> but yeah, I I generally want like only good vibes and. Um, How cool of you. Imagine that. It's insane. But moving on to the section where we speak about, uh, I guess, navigating these type of relationships. If you have any um, any queries about that, I've, I've spoken to some of my friends and I put up a Q&A on my Instagram. And here are some of the topics that I, I saw coming up and in my comments section. Suggestions on coming out to your partner and what's the best way to explain this.